Hey Sanctuary family, so somebody brought it to my attention that I have been apparently teasing you guys with photos and little video clips of what our sanctuary looks like but that you guys don't get the full vision and you want to kind of see everything. So I thought that today was the day that I give you guys a full virtual tour and walk you guys through our sanctuary. This way you can see everything firsthand and see all of the little details. And I mean all the little details. I'm going to show you guys the bathroom and my office and everything. This way you guys get a first-hand experience as if you guys were here yourself. So we're going to start from the beginning. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> When you pull up to our farm, you'll see our animal sanctuary drive sign, and that's how you know you're in the right place. Our farm is pretty easy to spot coming down the dirt road. Just look for the giant 12 foot tall rooster welcome sign and the huge red Jurassic Park looking gates with unicorns on them though, of course. Kevin and I actually custom made these unicorn gates ourselves and I love the way they look. You'll pull in through the gates to our parking lot and when you pull into the parking lot, you'll see my Alyssa's Animal Sanctuary sign. I haven't totally finished it yet. I'm still working on this butterfly, but this one came out pretty beautiful. And this is just an awesome photo op spot where you can take pictures and have a great memory of your time here. Speaking of memories, I have a whole wall of memories where everyone that comes through gets to sign their name on their wall of memories so that they can be a part of this place forever. So this is the whole parking lot space. And then as you come up, this little building right here is my office and the bathroom. And I've had a lot of people ask us about our bathroom, so I figured I'll go ahead and show you this. It's pretty simple. It's just a little seating area inside the air conditioning. One day I'll renovate it and it'll be super cute and cozy. But for now, all I cared about was that we had an air conditioned bathroom and we don't have a porta potty anymore. Last year we won kids best birthday party venue by Golf Shore Life Magazine. Just had to show that off for a second. Okay, so here's my office. Ignore the fact that it's a total mess, but I just wanted to show you something that I think is absolutely amazing. These kids come and they experience such an amazing connection with our animals that when they come back here, they give me these adorable little notes and cards and sweet things that tell me how much they love the animals and it is so heartwarming. It's the only thing in my office that I really like aside from these cute little paintings that Kevin made me. But anyway, that's my office and that's the bathroom space. So then back out into the parking lot and then I will bring you guys into our barn space. This is our old antique rusty tractor that was donated to us and we absolutely love it. It's such a cool photo op spot. In the concrete here, we put one of each of every one of the animals' paw prints and hoof prints so that they could be a part of this place forever. And the kids love trying to figure out which paw print and hoof print came from which animal. So this is what I like to call the barn for the humans. It's my beautiful barn space where I like to host all sorts of special events for the community. I made this cool hay bale couch and I've already got chickens in it trying to lay eggs in it. But it's such a cool spot just to hang out at. And right next to the hay bale couch, we keep some of the smaller chickens, the baby chicks, under the heat lamp here. And overall, the barn for the humans is just a really chill, relaxing place. We've got this beautiful green grassy area with tents and chairs and things like that for everyone to hang out at. Coming around this way, this is our food shed. It's where we keep all of our supplements and food and things like that. I keep the supplements on this rack right here. All of the food is labeled in all of these different bins for which animal gets them. So this way it's easy to tell what food goes for which animal. And then I keep all of the supplements and diet restrictions and everything on this whiteboard. And the rest of this shed is just medical supplies in there and tack and gear and everything for the animals. This is my event trailer. It's where I store all of the unicorn supplies and paint and games and supplies for our fun events that we do. Our events are all hosted right here in this big, beautiful grassy area underneath these tents or underneath the barn space right here. As you come out over the grassy field, we have different games like cornhole. I actually made these cornhole boards myself. 
but this one is starting to fall apart. So I think I'm gonna need to make some new ones soon. And then all the way across the field over here, we have my awesome donation booth that Kevin made me. And I've got a little donation bucket right here and people will donate items to us so that we can sell them at our donation booth so that we can fundraise money. Like this really cool artwork created out of actual horseshoes welded together that Robin's Horseshoe Creations made for us, which is actually Kevin's aunt. And we have tons of beautiful paintings made by a five-year-old little boy named Grayson who sells his paintings to be able to sponsor one of our baby goats that is named Grayson. And these cute little bracelets done by a seven-year-old little girl and People will just donate items to us so that we can sell them to be able to fundraise money and I think it's absolutely incredible support. So that's our donation booth and our event space with all of the tents and tables and things like that set up. And oh, I wanted to show you this underneath the barn. We have fans set up so that it is a little bit more enjoyable outside in this Florida heat. And we have an outdoor speaker set up so you can play music and sit in the shade next to the fans. Oh, and we have tons of these awesome ring hook games that our friend Larry made for us, which is so much fun. He actually created these ring hook games with actual photos of our animals, which is so cool. All of the businesses that support us every month will hang one of their banners up on our wall so that we can show them support right back. And next we have this outdoor sink with a little kit with all of the necessities that you might need for the outdoors, some bug spray, some sunscreen, hand sanitizer, baby wipes, things like that so that you can stay protected while you're outdoors just in case you forgot your own supplies. So our whole event space overlooks the animal playground so that while you are with your family and friends, sitting outside, enjoying everything under the barn, you can overlook all of the animals and see them all playing on all of their slides and playgrounds and just living their lives. Rosie stays up in the front out by the event space right here. So when you're out in the event space, you can come bring her some treats and love on her right here. You love being in the front, don't you, Rosie? Cause you get all of the treats first before anybody else. <laughs> oh, and then remember that guy that I was telling you about Larry that makes the ring hook games? He actually custom made this awesome four person ring hook game with a bunch of different photos of our animals. So you can basically just play some ring hook and some cornhole and hang out with the animals right here under this beautiful event space. Okay, so now onto the good stuff. I'm gonna take you guys into the famous animal playground. I heard this kid call it Disney World for animals and I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna start referring to it as that. So when you come in through the animal playground, you'll see lots of different ramps and slides and different things for the goats to climb on and stay stimulated all day long and keep them exercising. We love these wooden spools. These are actually the cable spools that you'll see the power supply companies use and they make perfect playgrounds. Come on, guys. This is what I like to call Noah's Ark. It's a boat for the goats. <laughs> well, all the animals love it, don't you, Albie? Are you itchy? <laughs> so this is what the whole playground area looks like. It's the Noah's Ark boat with slides coming off it and ramps and wooden spools and 12 foot tall bridges in the sky for them to climb from one side to the other. And then we have some umbrellas going off the top of it to create a little bit of shade. And then all of the goat houses behind it that are all connected to the playground. This is Buster and Rona. Hi babies. Each of the goat houses all have a window to allow for some airflow inside of the house so it doesn't get too hot. And they all have a door so that we can close them up and lock them up and keep them safe from predators in the night. And I mean, you can see how thick this wood is, so we like to keep them safe. And then there is a little tanning seating area on top. And all of the goats know exactly which house is theirs. And so all of these rainbow buildings right here are all the different goat houses for each of the goats. 
So we also keep these salt block holders um, attached all around the playground so that the goats can get their salt and protein throughout the day that they need. And then all of the ramps, while they look pretty wonky and crazy, they're actually solid underneath so that the goats will not fall through them, their legs will not get stuck in our wonky ramps, and it makes it safer for them. So they just have tons of fun things for them to climb on and play on. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you guys, underneath Noah's Ark boat is actually a house for the goats. So it can either be used as a hangout spot to get out of the sun during the day or a place for some of the animals to sleep at. Okay, and then before we get out of the goat playground area, I've got to just show you guys the view from the top of the boat because it is awesome. You can oversee the whole goat playground, the ducks pools, you can see the chicken coop back in the back there, Rosie's area, the event space, and our barn, and you can even overlook the parking lot and see how large it is from up here. So this kind of gives you an idea of how big the space is and what it looks like, which is a pretty cool angle. So this is where all of the goats like to hang out the most at, and especially inside this little hideout area behind the helm of the boat, they really like it. And to answer your question, yes, the goats do use the slide. In fact, not only do the goats use it, but the other animals enjoy it too. <laughs> Okay, so that is the goat playground area. Now let me show you the duck area. So this is the pool for our female ducks. We have three duck pools and an actual natural lake as well for the ducks. But so this is for the female ducks. We keep a door on the front of the ramp so that when we leave, we can close the pool off, which the ducks don't really love that, but it keeps them nice and safe while we're gone. So our duck pool is basically just a regular above ground pool filled with fish and lily pads to create a really natural ecosystem. The lily pads are super important because it helps to prevent the growth of algae that can deplete the pond of oxygen that fish and you know other critters in there need to survive. And then they also help to provide cooler water because it helps to provide shade for all of the fish and animals on the inside. And then as you come around our duck pool, we built this awesome deck wrapping around the duck pool. This way we can come up on the deck and we can sit and relax and watch all of the animals playing on their playgrounds and the ducks swimming in their pond. This is definitely my favorite spot on the farm. It's just so peaceful being up high and being able to overlook all of the animals playing on their playgrounds and the ducks splashing in their pond. I'll eventually put a little water fountain right here and then it'll be really peaceful, but I love it up here. And then behind the deck is the male ducks and the disabled ducks. The disabled ducks are unable to get up the ramps of the above ground pools, so we had to create a natural man-made pond for them that is in ground so that they can just step into the water and easily access the water. Over here is the male ducks area. You can see that we put a fence in between the disabled ducks and the male ducks so that they can't get to each other, but that they can still see each other on each side of the fence. And then the male ducks have their own above ground pool as well. And it's got lily pads and the sawgrass and everything like that so that they have their own pool. And then as you come back this way, this is where Charlotte's house is at, and this is also where our male goats stay at. So we do keep our male goats separate from our female goats. A few of our male goats are unable to be fixed, so they have to be totally separated. So they stay back in this house with Charlotte, and this house is basically an outdoor dog kennel that we have put a canopy top roof on and slowly adding wood all the way around the walls to create a more solid structure um, but we just expanded onto this area so this is where charlotte and albie can come out during the day and the piggies can just dig holes to china and everyone can just have a blast out here this little area underneath the bridge is usually filled up with water hi baby 
but right now it's currently dry season so the water has drained out we plan to line this lake and then fill it up with water this way it always has water in it but rainy season is coming up in the next month and it should be filling up with water soon but that is the piggy pasture and the male goats area where those guys hang out during the day and charlotte loves it out here so do you bubba don't you dude and then as you come out of their area, it leads right into the horse pasture area. And some of the goats hang out here during the day as well. Like I said, everything is just really free and really open. So if you come around this way, we have lights strung over the field and we light it all up at night. And this is the horse barn. We currently have five horses under our care, but we are a rescue, so that number is always growing. So we have big plans to expand onto this barn space so that we can continue to rescue more animals and have proper stalls and spaces for them. I've actually already got the design in my head and I know exactly what I want to do to expand onto our barn and I can't wait to continue growing so that we can get there and be able to take on more animals in need. We just rescued this peacock and we named her Priya. Priya is currently taking up one of our horse's stalls, which we need to expand on a space for her as well. She needs a whole aviary area. She loves to perch up high, but we can't put her in the chicken coop with the others. So we plan to build a whole aviary area just for her and so that we can rescue more animals like her in the future. So that's the whole barn space and the field for the horses. We get a lot of questions about predators and what we do to protect against panthers and um, bobcats and things like that. So we light the entire field up so everything is nice and bright and lit up like a stadium at night. And we have outdoor speakers throughout our entire property that play talk radio so it always sounds like there's people here talking. And every animal is in solid structures to prevent anything from getting into their housing and getting them in the night. And that's how we protect them. So as you walk around the side of the horse barn, it all wraps right back around into the animal play area. So this side of the animal play area is where we have some of our roosters at. This is one of our roosters cages. His name is Poseidon. And we have this awesome military canopy roofing that stretches across the area that provides some shading, but it still allows the sun to come in as well. So it's pretty cool shading. Um, and then this is Albie's house. Inside Albie's house, he has a mattress with blankets and pillows and stuffed animals. Um, Albie might look a little intimidating, but he is a total cuddle bug and he loves the cuddly things in life. So that's Albie's house. This beautiful little bougainvillea pathway leads back into the horse barn area. This is Charlotte's old house, which is currently open for another new rescue. That's Scout's house right there and the chicken coop. So I love our chicken coop. It is a chicken coop mansion with all sorts of things for stimulation, like the mirror and a beautiful chandelier because chickens deserve the finer things in life too. Here's some of their nesting boxes, a fun xylophone, tons of perches for them to sleep on and be up high. And that is our chicken coop mansion. And then on the side of the chicken coop is where we have all of our rooster cages. All of our roosters do need to be separated because they are not very friendly with each other and we are always trying to expand onto this area just because roosters are one of the animals that need rescuing more than any others because everybody just wants to dump their roosters because they don't like them. So we are continuously expanding on this area. Well, that's the full tour, but if you guys have any questions or want more details about anything you saw in this video, leave me a comment below and I will be sure to respond back and possibly even make a video with more detail on your question. Hope you enjoyed this tour of our farm. See you next time, Sanctuary Fam. Hello.